Midyat camp. 5,300 people, 90 kilometers from Syria. For the residents, a refuge and a sense of life in limbo. 40% of the residents are Yazidi, forced to flee from their homes in Iraq last year. Families like that of Maidal and Bessi. Their flight and that of their family and friends and their harrowing wait for rescue on a mountain in Sinjar. Maidel remembers it all in harrowing detail. Maidel was a nurse and rather incredibly slips back across the border through Syria and into Iraq to receive his government pension each month. But their home, their town, has been destroyed. Bessie laments there is nothing to return to. Like almost all the Yazidis here, they want to be resettled. The Yazidis are lodged in one part of the camp, the Syrians in another. Many of them have been here for years, like Mohammed and his family. They fled the fighting in Syria two years ago, burying their three-year-old boy before they left. Mohammed counts himself luckier than most. He leaves the camp to work 10 days a month in a stone quarry. It's good money, he says. His second daughter, Maryam, was born in the camp. His wife is pregnant again. They worry about the future. <laughs> Another day ends, each like the last, each a day of waiting, for a dream to be fulfilled, the dream of a return to a home in a land again at peace.